Are you just starting on your natural hair journey and you're looking for a shampoo that can help you kickstart um, your healthy hair journey? Then this video is for you because in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make a simple DIY African black soap shampoo on a low budget. You don't necessarily need an expensive product or go break a bank just because you need um, a product, a shampoo, a conditioner or anything as such because it's become a mentality or kind of a notion that the more expensive your product is, the more positive results you get. And guys, that is totally wrong. Trust me, that is totally wrong. So I'm going to be making use of this black soap shampoo and I'm not going to be adding anything to it because this black soap shampoo actually contains a lot of natural ingredients that can help you cleanse your hair and keep your scalp clean like i for one i consider this as a cleanser so the job a surface shampoo will do to your hair that is what this shampoo can actually do to your hair yes it can act as a deep cleanser so it doesn't matter the kind of product build up you have or anything as such this shampoo is going to keep your scalp really clean and also help you to keep off dandruffs, flaky hairs and all such things. So what I'm doing, I'm breaking this into little pieces. Like guys, you want to make sure to crush this even much more than I'm doing right now because this particular brand of black soap is actually a bit difficult to melt. So um, if you're using um, the processed version, which is the Dudu or Shun, then you can actually you know quite get a hang of it but this particular brand which i guess is from ghana it took me like a really 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 long time to melt this like guys i had to even get out a few chunks later on to just um make use of what uh, was actually melted so and what i'm adding into this soap is my boiling hot water so you want to use a boiling hot water to melt this otherwise guys it's not going to melt it's just going to remain like this i'm telling you it's going to remain like this even after using boiled water guys it was very difficult to melt so but um after leaving it for a few hours i was able to get at least a sizable quantity out of this but like I said, I took out a few chunks that refused to melt out from this shampoo. So I'm going to cover this up for a bit. Um, well, not actually a bit. Like guys, it took me about an hour or two to really completely get um, much of this um, black soap melted. So this is it guys. This is what it looks like. You can see it also has a few particles in it because this is the raw like raw african black soap so you're going to find some few particles in it from the ingredients you know like we have some ash in it and we also have some cloves in it so this is what it looks like but you want to make sure to strain it out you don't want to use this shampoo with those particles in it on your hair trust me so you want to strain this out and i'm going to show you guys what is actually in it the particles in it that after straining this so you can get a cheesecloth or a strainer like this to strain all those particles out from your soap as you can see like there was a lot of sand in it you know this is to tell you that this is a very like the purest raw form of african black soap so you want to strain this real good to extract your black soap from um, black soap shampoo from it so this is what it's looking like i'm just going to go ahead and pour this into my applicator bottle so you want to pour this into your applicator bottle or whatever it is you're going to use to store this shampoo you want to pour that So 
so this is my applicator bottle i'm just pouring in my black soap into it and um i'll let you guys see how much i got from that few chunks of black soap that i used so i got about i think 460 to 470 ml of this black soap which is actually a good size amount so um you can do this a couple of times and that black soap is actually i think it cost me about 500 to 1000 naira. i can't remember so it's actually cheap it's on a low budget and you can use it for a very long time and it's very foamy like guys you can see this black soap is actually foamy there's nothing in it yet so this is actually what it looks like it's going to keep your hair clean it's going to cleanse your hair and it also lathers real good so i actually decided to add some glycerin to it you know glycerin helps with moisture it helps to absorb moisture from the atmosphere and keep your hair you know feeling soft and you know smooth so i just added um, a few drops of that glycerin and that is it nothing else no oils nothing in this shampoo except for the glycerin so you can actually get a shampoo on a low budget you don't need to break a bank you don't need to use expensive products affordable products like this can actually do the job for you so guys thank you guys for watching that is all for today's video i hope you learned from it i hope it um helps you get your hair clean while maintaining a low budget and guys if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye